Yo, what up everybody? It is your boy Fitzmunk TV here, aka G133. I am back here today with Super Dragon Ball Hero Season 2, Episode 2 spoilers for you guys. And I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a review for episode one. I decided, you know, why not do both the spoiler video and the episode review video in one video. Alright. So if you guys haven't yet, Super Dragon Ball Heroes, Big Bang Mission, or Season 2, whatever you want to call it, the new story of Super Dragon Ball Heroes follows this new arc universe Genesis arc. Alright. And we know it involves the God of Destructions, it involves few, it involves some of the Xeno characters, and of course the heroes from Universe. 7 the Dragon Ball Super versions of Goku and Vegeta so um, we're going to talk about what's going to happen in season 2 or not season 2 we're going to happen what's going to happen in episode 2 and we're going to talk about what happened in episode 1 all in all I thought this was a good episode all right usually when I first see a Super Dragon Ball Heroes episode I'm sit back and I might like it you know and then I'll go back and watch it again a couple hours later and then I'll be like eh, maybe I overrated this a little bit but I'm pretty confident most of y'all will enjoy episode one there's not any really like, real action it's just basically laying the groundwork for what we're gonna see in season two or this new series I'm just gonna call it season two for what it is even though it's Big Bang Mission it's a continuation of of what we've already seen. They mentioned in this episode. They mentioned you know. Uh, events that happened in the prison planet. And the universe conf uh, conflict arc. So to me. That tells me all I need to know. This is not you know. Taking place in some separate timeline. This is basically a continuation. Of what's happened after the other two arcs. Alright. And I like the way this episode was framed. Alright. So the episode started with. Uh, Toki Toki. Um, entering to Universe 7. And then Xeno Trunks and Xeno Pan, they're talking to the Supreme Kai of Time, and they're trying to figure out where Toki Toki is. So they decide, uh, oh, all right, let's go look for him. This leads them to Universe 7. Supreme Kai of Time notes that she notices maybe this has something to do with the Bird of Catastrophe um, being released, which is a bird that looks a little bit similar to Toki Toki, but is more evil, all right, it's gray, it has red eyes, it's basically an evil version of Toki Toki, and we know Toki Toki is really powerful, all right, so we enter into Universe 7, and I kind of like this, we see all of Universe 7, they're, they're fighting, we see Goku, uh, Vegeta, they're, sp uh, they're spawning, uh, we also see Trugs, not Trugs, uh, we see Android 17, Piccolo, Krillin, and Gohan. We we haven't seen a Dragon Ball Super adult Gohan in any of the Super Dragon Ball Heroes episodes. So it was kind of cool to see him. We haven't even seen Krillin either. We saw 17 and Piccolo in the last arc, but and this is the first appearance by uh, Krillin and Gohan. So they're all sparring, and then there's a funny interaction when Goku um, meets Toki Toki for the first time. Like, look at this... Uh, Ugly bird, and the bird bites Goku's uh, nose. Then we see Xeno Trunks and um, Pan appear, and then everyone's like, Whoa, what is Trunks doing here? And then Vegeta's the only one to know this is a different version of Trunks. And he recognizes Trunks from the Prison Planet arc. So this tells me there's another instance where this confirms that this is season two, or this is a continuation of, you know, Dragon Ball Heroes, all right, well, from the other arcs. So basically, they're talking for a little bit. And then all of a sudden, the Gods of Destruction appear. Pan leaves with Toki Toki because the Gods of Destruction, they all are trying to destroy, uh, they're trying to destroy, uh, Toki Toki because they mistake Toki Toki for this bird of catastrophe, all right? Because the, the bird of catastrophe and Toki Toki, they look very similar. So, Beerus... Um, is basically going out to do the Hakai attack. First, it was going to be all the gods, but Beerus is like, no, this is my universe. I'll handle it. All right. So Pan leaves with Toki Toki, and then the gods are unhappy with Goku and the others because they're trying, you know, they're, it's a sin to go against the gods' will. You know, whatever the gods say goes. And now, you know, they're going against it. And Beerus doesn't want to destroy Earth, but he knows, especially with all the other. Uh, all the other God of Destruction, you know, watching, he can't look weak in front of them. So he basically has to take care of Universe 7. So then it looks like an all-out -well fight is going to break. So and I like this. This was kind of hype. We see all of Universe 7 gather. Gohan, Piccolo, 17, uh, Xenotrunks, 
uh, Vegeta, Goku, they all are powering up to go against Beerus. And all the other gods are just sitting there watching. It's like, it's 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 pretty cool. It's kind of like the Tournament of Power, but instead there's only one big fight. It's not like much 40 other fights with all of those competitors in the ring. So I, I like this. Goku and Vegeta power up in the Super Saiyan Blue, and basically Goku states, oh, this is our first real fight since Battle of Gods. You know, they Goku states that they've had training fights, and if you guys have read the Dragon Ball Super manga, Goku and Vegeta both have had training fights with Beerus, but this is, looks like it's going to be an actual real fight, all right? And as much as I wish we were getting this fight when Dragon Ball Super, the anime return, whenever that is, no matter if it's this year or in 2021 or whatever, it is what it is. So we see, as you guys can see the image on my screen, Super Saiyan Blue Goku flies in for a punch. And that's uh, where, for the most part, where the episode ends. After that, we just see Few, and he's talking about how he has a new plan. So this is basically just another incident. Remember, he had the plan in the prison plan. That didn't go well. But now he has a whole new plan, a whole new experiment that he's trying out um, for this new arc, all right, so now here we are, we got the spoilers for episode two, so all in all, episode one was an enjoyable episode, even though there was not much action, expect the action to pick up, we're gonna see Goku and, uh, Beerus finally have their rematch, the rematch we've all been waiting for, and then, uh, you know, we're gonna see Vegeta and the rest of the characters get involved, but it's not gonna go well for our heroes, all right, so the title for the next episode, it's going to be coming out early April, so I was right. That's usually when these episodes come out. We usually get maybe once a month or every month and a half we get an episode. So the thing says, Fuse Plan, the threat of the dreadful universe tree. All right, so remember in the prison planet, the, the threat was the prison planet itself. Now it's the universe tree. So early April 2020, and here's your spoilers. Goku and his friends are putting all their efforts to fight against Lord Beerus, but there's nothing they can do against his huge power. In the air, full of tension, this time, Xeno Goku and the Time Patrol appear. After they urge Goku and the others to look into the air, the sky is covered by the root of a giant tree where Few shows himself along with Blackbird. So we know that the Blackbird, he's this evil bird of catastrophe. So... So you guys can see, uh, we're going to see Goku and the others going up against Beerus. And it looks like they can't do anything because that's how strong Beerus is. I swear, I will be pissed. As hype as it would be, I'm going to be pissed if we get alternates in Goku against Beerus or, you know, like Gogeta or Vegito versus Beerus. You know, it does state here that Xeno Goku will be appearing. All right. That's one of my favorite versions of Goku. I love Xeno Goku. I love his outfit. Um... And, you know, we'll probably see Xeno Vegeta as well, based off the intro, you know. So, could we be seeing potentially Super Saiyan 4 Goku or Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta against Beerus? I, I, I'll take that. I don't want to see Ultra Instinct. I don't want to see Fusion. But definitely, if we get, you know, Super Saiyan 4, I'll take that. You know, will we get to see Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta make an appearance? I probably will. We'll just have to wait and see. Um, but... Definitely, if few appears, so we see this tree, we don't really know what's behind the tree yet, we'll probably find that out in the next episode, um, but we also know the Blackbird, so maybe this will cause the Gods of Destruction to maybe align themselves with Goku and the others, you know, to go up against few and this Blackbird when they see, oh, this bird looks similar to Toki Toki, he must be the one that's causing all of the trouble, that's just my opinion, I don't know if it's going to happen or not, you know, I don't think it's going to be that simple, Maybe, you know, Few has some tricks up his sleeve to uh to get the the bat to kind of control, mind control the gods of destruction. We don't know. Alright, there's not a lot of details about this, but still I'm very intrigued to see where this goes. I don't think it's gonna you know, they're gonna have the god of destruction aligned with Goku and the others just yet, because that would be too easy. That would be too easy a story to tell. And, you know, that would make this arc really quick. You know what I mean? So other than that, I really don't know. We'll just have to wait till next episode. But either way, man, I'm excited. You know, these people don't like Dragon Ball Heroes. Some people do. I like it. I accept it for what it is. It is what it is. That's just my opinion. All right. If you guys don't like it, 
it's whatever. No, no harm done. But either way, guys, that's about all I got for you guys today. Hope you guys enjoyed Big Bang Mission Episode 1. I'll definitely have a reaction review for Big Bang Episode 2. But that won't be coming out till early April. So we still have about a month till then. But either way, guys, that's about all I got for you guys today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys later. Have a great day, guys. Peace.